A huge goal for us this year was to reduce friction in the pipeline between Mari and Katana as much as possible by utilising Pixar's USD format. Mari 5.0 is kicking off the first phase of our USD journey with the introduction of the new USD export tab in the Export Manager. This new workflow allows you to create a flattened USD material network look that can be used to provide richer looking assets in hydro-powered viewports in applications like Katana. To aid this workflow, we have also introduced the USD preview surface to Mari as a new shader type. This shader can be used in tandem with your primary vendor shader or Mari's principled BRDF, allowing you to drive both the preview and the final look of your assets in the same project. To set this shader up, navigate to the shader palette and click the Add Shader button. Then navigate to Lighting, Standalone and select USD Preview Surface from the drop-down. The USD Preview Surface becomes available in the Shaders menu and from here you can assign your channels to their respective inputs. If your principled BRDF shader is set up correctly, it's as easy as clicking the button next to the input you want to assign a map to and then selecting the respective channel from the drop-down menu. As the preview shader exists alongside your primary shader, you can take advantage of this by using different resolutions, bit depths and combine the channels of your primary shader to create consolidated preview channels. With your preview shader set up, let's take a look at the new USD export workflow. Within the export manager exists a new tab called USD export. From here, if the USD preview surface exists within your project's objects, it will automatically be assigned as the shader to be exported per object. Within the USD export manager, you are also able to assign file paths to your USD look and assembly files. The USD look file will create an export that only contains the look of your asset. This means that only your materials, assignments and shading nodes will be exported while the model will not be. However, if you want an assembled USD file with both your model and look combined, you will need an assembly export target as well as a payload USD file that contains your model. Once exported, Mari will have bundled the look of your model and the geo together for easy loading in applications like Katana. Please be aware that at this point in time, it's important to make sure that the root name parameter has a name input with a forward slash prefix. For example, forward slash root. Similarly to the channel export, you can change the file types of your exported textures, your file names, and apply depth and resolution overrides within the USD export manager. We hope you enjoyed this new feature and happy painting.